We have this thought, this sabotaging thought, that when we give to another human being, that they have to give to us back. And when they don't, we get disappointed, we get mad, and we have breakdowns in our life. If you were to ask me what's the number one most important change that you can make right now, I would say it's number one lead with generosity. Be the most generous person in everybody's life around you, and then don't ask for anything in return. Every time you're generous, you, you actually get paid back this assertiveness, this confidence that you are worthy, that you are good enough. Multitasking isn't something to be proud of. I hear people all the time saying, I multitask, I'm a really good multitasker. Multitasking is so unhealthy for your brain. I've seen more people become a millionaire by doing less than doing more. Some research has shown us that we're losing up to two hours of productivity just because we're multitasking. So you have a choice. <laughs> you can either multitask and feel like you're getting more done, or you can focus on one thing and drive it all the way through to completion and then access millions. We get paid more for working hard, but if you wanna be an entrepreneur, then it's not about working harder, it's actually about working smarter. The fear of failure is actually the fear of success. So let me give you an example. I made a commitment to fail 19 times this year. When I hit seven failures this year, I had already doubled the company. We're trained that rejection is something bad. And the truth is, is that rejection is only what you make it. Imagine if it was not only okay for you to fail, imagine if you put in effort to fail, how much quicker you would make decisions, how much quicker you'd course correct your actions, how much more free you would feel to actually give it all you got. Everything comes down to a set of choices. You can either do it your way and think somehow you know the best way to get to some place you've never been, or you can actually spend your effort and your time finding a sure bet. You can pay for speed. So you're either gonna pay and trial and error and trying to work your way up there, or you can hire somebody that actually knows the steps that you can take right now in your life to get there. When you believe that your dream can come true, you will invest in yourself. Until then, you're still playing. I always say, don't make millions because of the money. Make millions because who you become in the process is really nothing less than extraordinary. You become giving, you become generous, you become assertive, you become like obsessed with being an amazing human being. Stop working so hard to turn yourself inside out to become someone that you're not to be able to make money. The freedom piece is actually you opening up and being bold enough to be exactly who you are, speak your exact mind and use your voice. I'm gonna tell you, that you're gonna get authority. And money loves authority. So it's time for you to have authority over money. Not for money, have authority over you.